Hey Brick fans, welcome to the Brick Bakery, where all our jokes are half baked and most our bricks are medium rare. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this Friday evening live stream, everybody. I am so happy to see you all, and I hope we're gonna have a great time today. We are building this, the 75930 Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate. A uh, a Jurassic World set that I've been looking very much forward to building. I'm not sure that I have seen too many of these built anywhere, but um, I am really looking forward to this one, and I hope, I hope it's going to be a great time. I have been having a good Friday. Friday is a holiday in Denmark today, so I've been just doing whatever I wanted to, which is always great on a Friday, I think. I hope all of you out there in the TV lands, in the YouTube lands, are doing well and that you are going to have a wonderful weekend as well. Um, yeah, I think um, it's a little hard actually to show this one off as... Um, as it is a quite big box, but maybe we can do it like this. Is this good? I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, this is the Lockwood Estate, Estate, and I, 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 I'm really looking forward to getting this one unwrapped. The, uh, the Indo Rapture here. I've got, I've got a blue, a blue Rapture already. I do have uh, one of these um, uh, Benefix already, but the others are new to me. And the small baby Rapture up here is. Pretty cute, I'd have to say, right here. Pretty cute. On the back, we've got all kinds of stuff going on inside the inside the Lockwood estate. And I'm really looking forward to seeing everything. I'm not sure I'll be keeping this one together. I have mainly bought it because it was cheap, but I did want to build it before I parted it out. I'm not sure I'm gonna part it out though, but um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it gets us. Uh, ba -da -ba -bam. And here we open up here in the end. Hey! I, whoop, there we go. There we go. Oops. Mm, I think just a second. Just a second. Five. Ba -ba -ba. I need to. I need to collapse this fully because there's no room in here. If I don't. If I don't, so yeah, this is uh, poop. there we go. Hello, Tayshawn Harris and the Lego Room. Welcome, 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 my friends. Hope you are doing great and uh, that you are gonna have a nice Friday. We are building the Lockwood Estate uh, Jurassic World set, which is uh, pretty cool actually. And um, yeah, as I just said, I'm not sure I'm gonna keep this one uh, assembled and together. I might, I might. Uh, part it out, piece it out for parts for mocks because I do have a lot of ideas for mocks, that's for sure. Let's see, some stuff in here and an unbent uh, instruction book, which is very nice. Only five stickers for such a big set is actually pretty, pretty impressive, I'd say. I'd say, well, uh, I think uh, I wonder, I don't know, six. I see six bags. I think I might be able to do two or three today. I'm hoping for about an hour worth of live streaming today. So uh, yeah, so I think I might be able to do um, do uh, two, maybe three bags, and I'll have to do the other three on the next live stream on next Friday. But today, I think we're just gonna head out do three of this. Uh, the Lego Room says, this looks like a good set with perfect pieces for mocks. Yes, I agree very, very much. The Lego Room, I agree very, very much. And hello, that is Jojo. Welcome, 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 my friend. I hope you're doing great this uh, Friday evening. We are building the Lockwood Estate from the Jurassic World series. Um, and uh, I think... Well, I will be parting this one into two parts. It's just a question of how many, how many, oops, how many bags I'm gonna make today. Um, I'm, I'm aiming for about an hour worth of live streaming. So yeah, 
Harley Lego Channel, hello, 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 my friend, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I hope it does look good. I actually think it does look good. It is, an, it is a, a very interesting set, some great colors in here for sure. Some great colors in here for sure. Do, 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 do. Oh, ah, I can't open this. Don't have any fingernails. Do, 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 do. So, here we go. Yep, and oh, I like this manual here. It's actually pretty nice, I think. Some uh, some nice stuff. It's maybe a little weird how much um, how much room there is up here. I would have thought they should have scaled up the building just a bit. Hmm. I mean, this this is all empty. Well. Anyway, looks great, interesting, and some weird shadows going on over here. This, um, yeah, this could have this could have done a little better, maybe. The, these shadows down here looks a little flat, maybe. Oh well, it's the build that's important, not the uh, manual for it. So let's rip right on into this one. Uh, Darius Jojo sa Dojo says, it looks nice, but it would have been better if it wasn't a facade. Yeah, I know what you mean. These uh, buildings here that, um, that, that are out for the, uh, for the Jurassic World here and for uh, Marvel are often just sort of facades. And, and, it, and it, it's, it's a shame, really, because you want a complete building if you have a Lego city. On the other hand, it's a good way to maybe make some, uh, you know, make some uh, modifications or something. So you, um, you have, oh, is that, this isn't right. Uh, you make some modifications. So you have the possibility to make uh, whatever you want, really. Um, so in that way, I think it makes sense. Um, yeah, so, but I know what you mean, uh, I, and I do agree to some extent. This is a shame. It would be cool. Hello, Bricks, Lady Brickskater. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, my friend. And uh, I hope you're having a nice Friday. And Legomaniac, welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. It's great to see you. Um, ooh, this is the Indoraptor. It is the biggest dinosaur, Lego dinosaur that I've ever had. That's for sure. And it does look kind of frightening, I must say. Is this one meant, I don't remember from the movie, is this one meant to go walk on all fours? No, that looks look weird. So more like this. All right, scary eyes. Some very scary eyes. Very, very sc scary eyes. Lady Brickskater says, my Friday was relaxed. How was yours? Mine was very relaxed. This Friday was uh, a holiday here in Denmark. So I've been relaxing a lot, just hang around doing nothing much trying to just watch a movie maybe watch some series television series you know just everything everything just relaxing 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 that was the keyword that was the keyword indeed the keyword indeed and here's blue the little velociraptor and i already have one of these but um that's all right i think a couple of blues isn't the worst way to go dinosaur wise that is jojo says i finished my lego storm mock for now at least Ooh, sounds good sounds good so how big did it end up getting uh, that is jojo did it get big oh, i need a thing this thing right here Doop. and there we go and there we go Yes, a dinosaur has been born. And cheers, everybody. This is just plain water, if you're curious. <laughs> so the discussion we've been having over the last couple of Fridays has been about the Stranger Things Lego set. And people were half discussing, half doubting if... Um, if the set was actually coming out at all or if it was just a rumor now i think we've got 
more than confirmation this week that it was a it is a real set i don't know if you guys saw that cool uh, 80s style video that they made presenting the set that was really really awesome i loved that um i i, I saw somebody saying something like that when it first started out when they pressed play uh, they thought it was was from the 80s which i can see why because it was very 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 uh, convincing i was um, i was taken back to my childhood that's for sure that is for sure first little minifig here a guy with a hammer the auctioner auctioner guy looking very very spiffy with his little hammer here and on we go yes lego maniac water it is water <laughs> the lego room says i only always wonder what they sounded like yes that is the sound dinosaurs make it's the sound i have um uh, it simply looks stunning need to get it says the lego room i'm i think he's talking about um the stranger things set and i agree it's it's a wonderful set i can't believe how much creativity went into that one because it looks really really good um there is um there is yeah it's 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 really really creatively thought out that you that you can do that flip thing and you can uh, and then there's the upside down um on the other side that's so creative i i i wouldn't have thought about that in a million years i think if i got um, <laughs> if i gotten all the time in the world i still wouldn't have, wouldn't have come up with that that is for sure um it's um it's a um uh it's a pretty 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 great idea and um i i'm i'm, I'm on the fence about getting it i think it, it it does look cool but to me it's it looks like a display piece more than a play set and a display display piece um that is also pretty hard uh, putting in to a, a city so yeah i was thinking actually you could do something if, if you have your city on a table you might be able to do um to, to have uh you know you, you have the 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 normal world part on top of the table and if you glue some lego plates underneath the table you can make the upside down there and you can expand the upside down to take up the room entire room of your lego city so you would have a complete real world and a complete upside down which is a great which is a cool idea but i think it would be pretty hard to do in any meaningful way um yeah uh hey mock bricks welcome 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 you came back today from a class trip to the netherlands well welcome back to the netherlands uh from the netherlands sorry <laughs> hope you had a good trip i was thinking jc could do something similar with putting the bottom part down his underwater city yeah like i mean yeah, something like that would be a good idea actually i i i i, I have i have for some for a while i've been thinking about uh how you could do something uh, uh, like an underground for your lego city in a meaningful way but recently i saw i think it was the jackhammer who did a pretty cool mock where he had um where he had sort of an underground part of it which which looked very very good uh so yeah other people are doing stuff like that which is very very nice that is jojo says the brick bakery it's on a 16 by 32 base plate and the building is 16 by 24 and one story tall that is jojo is talking about a, uh, a lego store mock he did just recently looks it sounds cool and sounds pretty big as well shane mcqueen welcome 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 my friend an upside down world under your lego table a very cool idea i must say says shane mcqueen yes i do agree i think it could actually be pretty cool to work with that now i'm not sure i have the courage or the patience to actually uh, try to do something like that but it's some if somebody did something like that it would be pretty nice i think but i think it's probably only a question of time before somebody starts doing something like it so if you want to do it you want to do it quickly i think because you want to get a leg up on that one 
Beep, 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 beep. I like the concept of Stranger Things sets. I just don't like it enough to justify the price. For me, that is, says Lady Brick Skater. Yes, it does seem to be pretty expensive. If I'm not mistaken, it is uh, $179 American. And that is a lot of money. I am, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I'll be getting it still. Uh, maybe if it's on offer at some point. Uh, oops, this is wrong. Ah, darn it. The, maybe if it's if it's on uh, on offer on sale at some point, I might I might uh, do it. Hello, Bot Shop 2021. Welcome, 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 my friend. Hope you're doing great and that you're having a great Friday. Uh, mock break. The trip was generally good, but the B -b Buingalos were meh. How just too good would say it. Ah, meh. Okay, was how uh, how just too good would say. But bungalows, Buingalos. I don't know what that is. Sounds interesting, but it was um, sad that it was only meh. Oh well. The Lego room, it's expensive for the piece count, but I'm happy to pay more for the design work that went into it, says the Lego room, talking about the um, Stranger Things set. And um, I, I, I think I agree on that, that it can, sometimes the, the piece count can actually be um, be lifted by the design, uh, sorry, the piece price can actually be, be lifted by the design work. And I do agree that there was a lot of great design work that went into this set so yeah it's um it is a cool set it's a great idea i like the television series um i like series one or season one more than season two uh, i'm looking forward to seeing season three and uh, how everything will turn out there hello Gallagate! welcome 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 i heard you've been out at a brick convention convention sounds cool doesn't it yeah so um yeah, I, I do like the idea. If I had enough bricks, I would make an English-style pop restaurant, as I'm English and I most feel most food buildings are American-style, says that is Jojo. Yeah, Dojo, yeah. And a, a pop-style build would be a great idea, I think. I might, I, might, um, I might think about that myself. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, um... As I said, I'm not sure I'm going to get the uh, Stranger Things set. If it is uh, on sale at some point at a, um, at a fair price, I may, I may get it, uh, but I am not sure. I do like the design and I really like the police car in that one. That one, that, that looks really great. I really like that design, that 4 before sort of uh, Land Rover Jeep-esque design. Looks a lot like the car from the series, I think. So yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty nice. Oops, sorry. Phew, pretty nice. It's all that water. It gets me airy. For some reason, for some reason. Do, 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 do. do. Yes, Jakob, I love, I love meeting Cass. Yeah, I, I heard you told me it up. It was good to hear that you had a great time. And I don't know how to pronounce that. Great. Hello, hello, my friend. I hope you're doing great, and welcome to the stream. I am, I am building the 75930 Indo Raptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate, which might be the longest name of any Lego set that I've built yet here on my uh, live streams. Anyway, uh, we are moving right along. It's uh, already looking. Up, I believe this is the front entrance and this is some pillars for the windows that's going to be here on the sides. We're moving right along to a lot of these corner pieces, which is a great piece actually uh, for building corners. Huh? Uh, <laughs> well, um, at least I like using these because then I can save on other bricks and they are usually pretty good at locking things together, I think. Lockwooding things together, huh, huh, well, lockwooding, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, well, anyway, moving right along, moving right along. Do, 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 do. I really want to go to a Lego store again, so I can get one by something bricks for more buildings and use the building, and use the build 
a minifigure station. It sounds like a good idea. It's a good reason to go to a Lego store to get bricks and one by something bricks is always good bricks for mocks and such. Lego Maniac says, the Stranger Things set is a nice good size. Going to work very well for a time last, so I ordered it on Wednesday. <laughs> All right, well, great on you, Lego Maniac. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, time lapse. Uh, Lego Maniac has a great channel where he does some wonderful time lapses, and I think was that on May the 4th he did a 24 hour live stream where he built the. Um, the Millennium Falcon, the USC Millennium Falcon, and I believe there's a lot of a lot of the regular participants in these my live streams here that were there as well, and we had a good old time. I was I was lucky enough to be a guest there. At some point, he's gonna put up a speed build of the USC Falcon as well, if I'm not mistaken, and I think you can look forward to that. If you haven't already checked out Lego Maniac's stuff, you should be sure to do so once you've done looking at this live stream hello little bricks welcome 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 my friend hope you are doing great did you find a place for the mock you made in your city uh great is um oh is that how it's is it great really hmm it's referring to the fact that i published a video yesterday um with a uh, park mock that was for my city and yes i have found a spot for it in my lego city and to check that out in my next city update it should be coming out in a couple of weeks or a little longer than that but it is coming out in not too long that yes that was a lot of fun it was good having you on the stream says lego maniac yes thank you it was very 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 it was fun to me to be on that stream as well it was great fun good idea i hope you do something like that again another time uh making some details here i like these um small these small pillars here looks great actually looks great actually uh good thank you my friend i hope you are well too says the lego room well and you too my friend <laughs> mm. nice water it's been a while since i got plenty of these in um in a build like this but for this one it seems that there is a lot actually one two three four five, six seven eight nine and ten yeah it's not too often that you get a lot of those is it um at least not in a build like this but it does seem like a good idea to use them because they do they they are very very good to fill up with i use them occasionally in my own mocks especially if i'm building a wall or something that doesn't need to be particularly detailed a back wall of some kind maybe would be great to do it to use those for just a reminder that the lego community 72 72 hour live stream is coming up very soon and if people want to participate they need to schedule their time slots says bot chop 2021 i am have not um I've, i i remember it i remember it being talked about last year but i am not sure i am completely in the loop as to what it is all about um i'm aiming to put out two videos this weekend says little bricks it's a good goal it's uh, it's attainable that's what good about it. what's good about it <laughs> um I like uh, setting goals for my work on YouTube that I can uh, fulfill myself. I'm doing something wrong, doing something wrong, and it's this that I'm doing wrong. Boop, and boop. Yeah, good to have goals that is uh, that can be fulfilled. Do you realize you say USC instead of UCS? No, I didn't. But it's probably true. UCS. I'm sorry, Darius Jojo. Uh, I hadn't thought about that. Hmm. Interesting. But I hope you know what I meant. Eh? <laughs> oh, well, I'll try to do better. I am sorry. Uh, UCS. It is. 
I will try to remember that. UCS. Say it with me. UCS. Yes, it is good to get a correction. Thank you, Dadich Dojo. Um, yeah. So, UCS. I've gotten so used to saying USC, but that sounds more like US something, a ship. The US Continental or something like that. Lego Lewis. Uh, hello, my friend. Hope you're doing well. I love seeing you on Beyond the Brick, says Dadic Giorgio. Well, thank you, my friend. Um, I love doing that. That was a lot of fun. It was... Um, it was... Um, I was I was quite nervous to do that, actually. I wasn't... I wasn't... Um, <laughs> it, it, you know, until now, I've just been doing this for myself and for my own channel. So whatever the quality is, I can... I can live with that, but when when you do something for other people, you want to do as as, as well as you can, and and you really you really hope you really hope that uh, you really hope that uh, everything turns out well. Uh, so yeah, I am uh, very glad that you say so, Dadic Dojo. Uh, Jacob, that's a nice set that you are building, says Tayshon Harris. Yes, I think so too. I am um, just noticing that this uh, instruction book might be a little confusing. Because um, it's, I, I think it's all the tan in tan in tan with tan. I think it's all those colors that are actually a little, a little confusing maybe. But um, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just talk too much. Hmm. How have I missed that you were on Beyond the Brick Bakery? Brick, big breaker, brick, big, blah, 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 blah. How have I missed that you were on the Beyond the Brick Brick Bakery? Says the Lego Room. I don't know how you missed that. It was out. Last Sunday, I did a review of Blocks Magazine, or an overview, probably a better word, uh, an overview of Blocks Magazine, the um, newest issue. So uh, if you are interested in seeing how that turned out, you can go over to Beyond the Brick and check it out. It was great fun to do, and I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed it. Hope you got more subs from that big baker, big bakery. Yeah, they, they, a, a few did trickle over, that's for sure. Now I'm I'm not in it for the subs per se. I'm much more in it for the fun, actually. And um, but of course there is the exposure, and 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 I am aware of that. And um, and the guys at Beyond the Brick, the at Beyond the Bricks, are aware of that. And and that's all fine. That's great. And of course, if I do get more subscribers because of it. It's fine by me. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna say to people, don't don't subscribe to me. Uh, just stay stay over at Beyond the Bricks, uh, Beyond the Brick. But um, no, I, I but but it is mainly because it is it is fun to do and uh, yeah, it is it is good fun. I do I do like making videos and uh, making it for other people uh, is also great. I think it it gets a little more meaningful. Maybe making it for other people, uh, not to sound too, but um, I think, yeah, something like that. So these go out here, not very clear, is it? Uh, Brick Bakery, can't believe I missed it. I will be checking it out ASAP. Well, you, uh, <laughs> I hope I won't disappoint. <laughs> now it's suddenly gotten to be a big thing. The Lego room, the Lego room got to pay attention on Twitter, says uh, Lego Maniac. Yes, it's true. I do have a Twitter account, and I tried to um, get that word out there. You are right, Lego Maniac. I, 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 I didn't, I didn't stay quiet about it. Um, uh, Galagate says I don't have Twitter, and I've still seen it. Ouch, ouch. <laughs> oh, Galagate, you such a, such a. Whitish right there. That's uh that's harsh. <laughs> uh, I only just realized that I have 97 subscribers. I wish I had time to upload a video on one of my mocks, but I'm busy with revising exams, says Dadas Jojo. It's good that you are taking care of your exams, my friend. It will help you out immensely in the future to have done well in school, says I, <laughs> but it will, it will. So uh, more power to you, more power to you. Good to prioritize, I think. 
good to prioritize. Do -do 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 so this one goes what here? Here. All right. Hmm. And then, and then, what here? That seems really, really odd. Oh, so that's how they made the door. I was wondering how this door would actually be made, but it's actually very simple. Some hinge pieces and uh, clip pieces. And there we go. A door for the mansion. Do -do 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 -do. Um, but shall I stop to you so I don't miss it? I'd contribute, only I'm not ready to do live streams just yet. Legalomania, uh, the Lego Room says, I do have Twitter, but still manage to miss it. Life is way too busy, says the Lego Room. Well, that's how it is. I'm, I'm happy you have caught up now, at least. So uh, you can go watch it when you have the time and life isn't so busy. Busy, busy life. Life outside YouTube is important. It is good that we keep up with that. So, um, yeah, just check it out if you want to. And if you don't, don't. That's fine by me but i think it was fun to do it was um it was a great experience boom and two doors for the not tutors but two doors for the lockwood estate maybe a a few more details on this door would have been great I don't know what in particular, but I don't know, maybe some tiles or something? Maybe some grills? I don't know. But um, anyway, this is how it is. This is how it looks. This is the door. Lego Builder says, hi. Hi, Lego Builder. I hope you are having a great weekend and that this will be a great Friday for you. We are building the 75-930 Indoraptor Rampage at Lockwood Estate, which is probably the longest Send the longest name of anything that I've ever done here on my channel. And hello, Mr. David West. Good to see you, sir. Good to see you. I like live stream chats because you can really connect with the community so well, says Little Bricks. And I agree. I agree. I really like making live streams for that very reason. I like connecting with people. I like the sort of direct relationship we can have with each other chatting and um, the interaction is great and i really really enjoy that so that is very nice i meet i met so many a falls i am now close friends with at least oh sorry i met so many a falls i'm now close friends with at the last 72 hour stream sounds cool I, i'll be sure to try and check it out this year for sure but shall we just sound very very interesting very very interesting Gallagate, i feel like you are building a bit faster tonight maybe because it's a lot larger, larger pieces in this bag jacob yes i actually think there were this 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 um this set is based on larger pieces Gallagate. i think you are right about that and uh, that's maybe why it's going a little faster but then again this isn't too complex really it's actually pretty simple uh, but it does look pretty good. I like the details around these windows here. Something I should, should maybe something I should um, think about using myself when I build something. Hmm, who knows? Anyway, moving right along, there's a couple of whatever these are plant palms things that needs to go inside the building. Oh wow, my computer just completely crashed on me mid edit. Remember to save often, folks. Yeah, no, Paul. I hope I hope uh, at least some kind of uh, for, for some kind of backup were saved for you, my friend. It's um, it's so annoying when everything disappears if you're just sitting here, if you're just you know editing something and you haven't saved. Oh, I hate stuff like that. Um, good to see everyone, says David West, and good to see you, David. Very good to see you. I hope you're doing uh, wonderful and that um, this uh, weekend will be great for you. Great for you. Ooh, very nice little um, way to do this. I like that. I, I don't think I've seen these pieces before, these um, uh, long ones. <laughs> I don't know what to call these. 
it's the it has a number 4244 these pieces are the 4244 for those of you who are curious you can look it up if you want and see what other sets they may be in but i know, don't know what sets that is that's for sure is this is this right yes it is right putting on the floor of the second first uh, i'm putting on the roof on the bottom floor so there's a there's a there's a floor for the next floor 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 i think you can say floor a little more haha <laughs> that rhymes <laughs> yes save 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 indeed recovered a backup from earlier says legolomaniac oh good very good to hear it very very good to hear it i would it's so oh it's heart wrecking when you see that crash in your mid edit hello julian's brick city great to see you my friend i hope you're doing great and that um, you're having a great friday i once deleted my whole iMovie library by mistake says little bricks oh oh i oh, i couldn't even I, I i couldn't i think i would just i would just quit i, <laughs> I would just quit the recovery was a was torture says little bricks i can imagine that oh don't give me those oh that's uh, that's nerves for you no 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 don't ever hello do, 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 do. so in other news um i was just on i don't know some random page that for some reason collected um collected lego news i don't even know what the mo i don't even know what the uh what the page is called now it's not really important you can probably google your way to it if um if you just keep talking the description should be plenty but anyway i just did a quick google before i went on to check for news and what i saw was that on brickset you can look that up of course on brickset there was an article on a Legoland exclusive set, the 4346 Legoland exclusive brick set, uh, sorry, uh, Lego set. Um, and as far as I can, I can gather, and as far as the article revealed, it is, of course, a set that's going to be exclusive to Legoland. And it looks like it's a a little bigger than other Legoland exclusives. It includes a lot, or not a lot, it includes a bunch of uh, attractions or, um, you know, uh, uh, roller coasters and such. Don't know if you guys have heard about it already. Um, oh, the Lego Room says, I saw that and it looks very good indeed. Yes, um, just saw it just before I came on here and it looks very, very interesting. Um, of course, I imagine that it's... Um, already available in the um, Danish Legoland and unfortunately there will be some time before I go there again I was there very recently and we are done with the bottom floor here um, looks very housey <laughs> uh, these black windows are actually pretty nice a good alternative to the white windows which I have a lot of so yeah let's move on to the next bag bag two which is right here no what um yes i saw that uh, new lego set on um, on brick set and what i'm always curious about is how do people find out about these things i i of course it, it's got to be somebody in, inside you know the walls so to speak um people who know stuff who know people privately blah 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 something like that but every time something like that shows up i am always surprised to see it and i'm always wondering how on earth did you find this out my friend um well, however you did it it was pretty cool i'm impressed i'm very impressed um yeah so so yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know 
I don't know, I don't know, I'm doing this wrong. I'm doing this terribly wrong. So this is uh, the hunter guy, which was actually the same actor who played Buffalo Bill in the Silence of the Lambs movie. So, um, and and uh, for me at least, I, I f that, that role was so iconic that I cannot uh, really see this actor as anything else but that. So whatever, whenever I see him in, in anything, a series or a movie, I always think of him as Buffalo Bill, which is um, quite unfortunate because he was actually with he was actually in uh, in a TV series called From the Earth to the Moon, which was produced by I think Tom Hanks actually produced that after he made the Apollo Apollo 13 movie, and this actor was in that series playing one of the original Apollo astronauts who was actually supposed to be a nice guy, but because he had that Buffalo Bill undertone in everything he did, because that's just how he sounds, you know. I, I kept seeing him as, as as Buffalo Bill, who was um, of course a serial killer in the movie, and that's not that's not very very uh, very nice. So, <laughs> I um, yeah, I'm, it's a bit confusing, I think. Uh, but um, yeah, so that was the hundred type guy, and oops, the woman right here. Here we go. Very nice printing on her. Don't know if you can see it. My uh, webcam is not as good as my normal cam. And a tiny, teeny, tiny Velociraptor youngling right here. I think she'll be carrying this one around like this. Seems all right by me. And we move right along to the next part of this. And one of those. And we need one of those. And I think I should take these out here. And oh, what do I need? I need I need a brick. That's what I need. I need a brick. This one and two of these. <clears throat> uh, I can get you a Vega, says Legomaniac. Mm, what? I, oh, people are talking with each other. Ah, ha, ha, thank you. Sorry about that. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing these live streams, I lose track of the uh, stream, uh, sorry, of the uh, chat. And uh, sometimes I try to catch up, but I'm, I'm hopelessly lost. <laughs> and uh, yeah, well, that's just how it is. It's good, good, good. I really like that you guys are talking to each other. I hope that you all get to know each other very, very well. It's, uh, it's what makes these live streams cozy i think that people talk and uh, exchange ideas and such that's pretty cool that is pretty cool uh, I was thinking of getting this set also, Jacob. It looks pretty cool. Yes, um, I, I do think it looks pretty cool. But as somebody pointed out at the beginning of this uh, build, it's unfortunately just the uh, sort of a, a, a front or a, a facade. So there's no, not a real building behind it. I do know that there's some, some ways you can put it together that looks a little more like a building. But you'll have to do some work if you want a full building. And you'll have to add pieces uh, of your own if you want a full building that's for sure but uh, if you get, get it at a good price um, I think it might be worth it uh, especially um, if, if it's a good price it might even be worth getting for the pieces alone if you're interested in doing mocks I am considering very much to part this out for pieces the Jurassic World stuff does not necessarily inter interest me too much the helicopter that I, that I built previously in another live stream was very cool, and I liked that one, and I will keep that one um, together. I have disassembled it, but I put everything in a bag, so I can quickly put it back together once I get some more room, if I get some more room at some point, uh, so I can actually uh, put that one back together. But but this one is uh, maybe mostly for pieces in, in my uh, in my mind um, but if you think it looks cool you should definitely try to get it I got this one half price which is a good deal I think so yeah but you have to remember that even if you give it at half price the piece price might still 
be uh, higher than what you could actually get um, than what you could actually get uh, other sets for uh, if they are half priced um, because licensed sets licensed sets are always a little more expensive than other sets that is how it is I watched your solo video recently and it was completely insane great style and quality my solo video I think little bricks is talking to someone else than me uh, Tayshon Harris says I couldn't comment for a little bit because a little bit because I didn't get a good signal hmm I hope uh, that you get a bit of signal now I haven't seen anything that indicates I am having trouble at my end so um, whatever it is I hope it's fine now hello the woodshop teacher welcome 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 my friend the woodshop teacher also has a YouTube channel and I've just recently seen one of his um, haul videos where he was very lucky to find a big bag of Lego at a thrift store because uh, not because it was it was filled with uh, good bricks and it seemed that there was a thrift store that had um, that had uh, a big uh, pile of bricks or a big bin filled with bricks that uh, brick, bricks bricks that people were sifting through and they could they just pick whatever they wanted and they were selling it by the kilo which is pretty cool for a thrift store boom that's great so welcome the woodshop teacher welcome 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 if you haven't checked out his channel you should i believe he is quite new to having a channel here on youtube so maybe go see if you like it and give him your support if you want to if and you want to do, 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 I'm building something and I don't know what it is. This is a thing. This is a thing. This is a thing that is supposed to go on a thing somewhere. I don't know what thing it is and what thing is supposed to go on, but it is a thing, that's for sure. It's a thing. Wolf Productions, hello, hello, hello. Yeah, I actually used a lot of filters to get it as I wanted to look like. I don't know what you're talking about. I've lost track of the chat again. I'm sorry. Um, but I think you might be talking about videos, maybe. Mm -hmm. Videos, videos, videos. It is the currency of YouTube, isn't it? <laughs> videos is the currency of YouTube. Brought to you by YouTube. Ba -ba -ba -bam 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 -ba -dam -bam -ba -dam -bam -bam. I have no idea what this is, but I'm building it right now. Is it is it is it a centerpiece of here? Hmm. Very very odd indeed. Very very odd indeed. Very very odd indeed. So yeah, as I started out by saying in this live stream, I was aiming for about an hour, and in ten minutes it will have been an hour. So there is a chance. That I'll be ending this live stream after this bag here, which is um, which is actually a little fewer bags than I had originally thought I would make. I don't know. Maybe I will go on for another bag. Something is wrong here. Something is very wrong here. How is this? Oh, it's not wrong. Except that it is. Qua? Oh, it's not. It's just me. Ah, there we go. A brick bakery. I love how you have an English accent at times. Yeah, it comes and goes. It comes and goes. And I'm not always the master of it myself. Um, I, uh, yeah, I, 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 I've been to England for an extended period at some point. But um, never long enough to actually delve into the um, English uh, dialect and accent and actually try to, to do that, really. But um, just saw some statistics of the channels with most videos on YouTube. There was one with over a million. 
a million videos. Wow, that's. Ooh, I don't know. I don't know how they. Oh. How old was that channel, Legolas Maniac? Do we know that? Uh, <laughs> yeah. The Lego Room says over a million videos, Lego Maniac. Was that JC in his first month? <laughs> yeah, that man is a powerhouse of creativity and productivity. I am generally amazed at how much he actually managed to put out at a good quality as well. Because one thing is to put out a lot of videos. That might be, you know, I'm not saying it's easy or, or not hard work getting to a million videos, but if you do low quality, it is definitely easier. And I'd say that um, if you make a million 10 second videos and you just you just film with your phone, you know, on your carpet, I don't know, some some some, some random thing, thing you can pretty 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 quickly relatively speaking, get to a million videos. But if you do videos with any kind of quality to them, just any kind of quality, um, then, then, you know, it, um, it's, <laughs> then it's, it's, it, the, a million is, is wow. A million is, wow. So yeah, anyway, anyway. Okay, I'm gonna head out. I might come back if you're still streaming, says Tayshawn Harris. Well, it was good to see you, Tayshawn. Always nice of you to drop by. Great to have you with us. I hope you are going to have a wonderful weekend. Seems to be a Call of Duty gaming clips channel. All right, well, yeah, okay. So, um, okay. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't have any opinion on that quality-wise. I don't know what to... Um, I do... I have seen my fair share, share of gaming videos, that is for sure, but mostly Minecraft. And speaking of Minecraft, Minecraft turned 10 years. 10 years. It's been 10 years since the first time we could chip away at blocks in a video game. Minecraft. Can you believe it? I mean... One year, ten, one year was wow, but ten years, ten years of Minecraft, and I, I have no, I don't think that that game is slowing down. I think uh, people are using it still almost as much as they were, you know, just a couple of years ago. It was all the rage for a long time, but I, I used to follow some of the guys from some of the bigger uh, servers, uh, some like uh, what's it called mumbo jumbo which uh, has I think a couple of million subscribers by now and he's a very very entertaining guy very creative has a lot of great ideas for his Minecraft stuff but um, Wolf Productions says Minecraft is getting more popular again I bet it is I bet it is and the thing is it's it's it, it got so meta at at that point where uh, where Lego made Minecraft Lego because um, Minecraft is basically Lego in your computer. It's <coughs> sorry, it's a Lego creator with an adventure basically. So um, that was weird. Uh, Ben's customs build custom builds. Hello, my friend. Love this set. What do you think about the new Stranger Things one? Says. Ben's custom builds. Well, Ben, uh, we have been discussing that one previously and we have all agreed that we like it. I like it a lot. I'm not sure I'm going to get it before it is on sale somewhere because uh, it is a little pricey. However, I think it was uh, Mark from the Lego Room who said he was willing to pay for the design work that was put into that one and I can see why that would be I think maybe this one would deserve uh, would deserve something for the design effort because it was it is really really well put together so um, I can see why that would be an argument for paying uh, the price for this one I'm not saying I'm not getting it I'm just saying I may not because it is a little pricey 
MP set S metal brick. Hello, my friend. Minecraft set nice. Um, yeah, Minecraft sets are nice. Uh, this is the uh, Indoraptor Rampage uh, at Lockwood Estate, the 75930, which um, is from the Jurassic World series. So, yeah, that's what this is. Beep, 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 beep. I think I am building um, a hatchery, maybe. This is for hatching eggs, dinosaur eggs. Yeah, I agree. It's a little pricey, says Ben's custom builds. Yeah, um, I think um, I think I think that might be what will uh, that might be. There's a fly. Uh, I think uh, price might be what would uh, turn some people off of that set because it is very hard to argue with it being very, very, very beautiful. Um, there's, uh, yeah, there's, uh, there's a lot to be said for for beautiful sets and if you should buy them. Um, but I think the price for this one would turn some some the other way. Um, Another way, not the other way, don't know. <laughs> Legal Maniac says that um, none of his videos has reached a million views. He wouldn't know what to how to handle that and Lego Room. The Lego Room uh, answers, well, you might have to uh, do that one day because your puzzle boxes could go viral as they are pretty special. And I agree. I agree uh, 100%. Lego Maniac's puzzle boxes are really great. And if you haven't checked them out already, you should be sure to go over to his channel and have a look-see because it is wonderful work that he does he makes these very very nice puzzle boxes and there's actually one right here that he was kind enough to send me this is actually one of his puzzle boxes that he sent me and there's actually a video on my channel where you can see me solving it it's uh, called puzzle box i think um, and he was kind enough to send that for me and that was really really cool thanks a lot lego maniac it's a uh, very great present to get. One more question. Do you plan on getting any of the Summer Jurassic World sets? Oh, that's that. Um, there's a t the Summer Jurassic World sets are, are related to a TV series, as far as I know. A um, Yeah, thank you, Lego Maniac Solving. I think we uh, I think we both know how, how well that went and why. Huh? Oh, well. <laughs> um, Anyway, I think the uh, the summer sets for the uh, the Jurassic World uh, series uh, looks interesting, but I'm not sure I'm gonna get any of them. Um, the uh, the 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 mechanical dinosaur looks fun. I like that one. I don't remember the other ones. I just remember them being there. And when I don't remember sets, it's probably because I'm not really interested. Unfortunately, maybe I'll have to see them once they get out. Uh, get released for reels and uh, people start making reviews. Maybe if Jang of Jang Bricks makes a review, I would um, I would watch that to see if I'll get them. Uh, but um, basically, all Lego sets look interesting, and um, as a rule of thumb, I would be somewhat interested in most of them. Now you might be noticing that I am not putting in stickers, and that's because, as I said before. I am not 100% sure I will be keeping this one together as a set all parted out uh, for pieces for mocks and if I part it out for mocks there's no reason to have stickers on it because uh, I might use it for something that doesn't really make sense uh, sticker wise. Hello Cowies Creations, hello hello hello, I uh, hope you are doing great on this Friday. 
and that you are going to have a wonderful weekend. We are building uh, the Indo Indoraptors Rampage at Lockwood Estate, the first two bags this evening. Uh, and we are actually coming up on the finish. I don't know. I think maybe I should be doing bag number three as well. Because I think um, doing uh, doing two bags and two bags and two bags might be a little short for me. I'm getting into a groove, but I don't want to um, don't want to go on for too long uh, because I do have to get to bed at some point. It is pretty late here in Denmark. It is already 11 o'clock in the evenings, so that's 11 p.m. Uh, for those of you stateside, uh, and uh, yeah, so so um, and if you gotta do stuff in the morning, and 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 I usually do, um, yeah, uh, going to bed uh, at some point is a good idea. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. I might it might be a sort of game time decision still. Uh, oof, that's late. At least it's Friday, says. Um, Cowish Creations, yes, I do agree. It is a bit late, but uh, that's how it is. Don't know what piece of equipment this is, but it does look interesting. Um, see, this has to be a couple of binoculars as well. Oh, it's a microscope, of course. <laughs> yeah, so that's the. All right, this is pretty cool. Microscope needs to go here. There's uh, I, I, what I like about this is that there's some great ideas for uh, different kinds of science equipment in here that's pretty nice that is pretty nice boop, boop, boop. Boop. and boop. and another piece of science equipment so much science equipment a lot of small bills for this one oh it's 11 p.m 2300 here too but i'm free tomorrow so yeah i'm staying up all night well, that sounds cool. Hope you're doing some great building then, maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> and Couch Creation says, why stay up all night when you can sleep all night? <laughs> and that's a good question, actually. Why? When you can sleep all night. Sleeping at night is also nice. Mm -hmm. Well, I do think it's nice to sleep at night. That's for sure. But I can, once in a while, you know, I, I will get into you know being up all night it's not it's not uh, it, it doesn't happen as much anymore but when I was uh, a teenager I would stay up all night uh, and that was just the thing you did sometimes you know for all kinds of reasons uh, yeah so this is a this is a weird oh it's a what Okay, I'm doing something wrong. Yeah, okay. So this is... No, I'm doing everything wrong. Everything. Just everything wrong. Everything, everything, everything. So, uh, this way? All right. That's not right. Is that right? This seems... Okay, so... That's the... Oh, I get it now. I'm doing everything wrong. Well, that's wouldn't be the first time. Hmm. Okay, so this and this. And here we go. There we go. Uh, and then another one of those put on here. That doesn't really make any sense, does it? Huh. All right, well, that's pretty loose. Hmm. This one and this one. Okay. No, the other way around. Like this and this. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll put this on and we'll give it our best shot. Yeah. Mm. Ah, well, it works somewhat. All right, well, like this. Okay, so this is uh, some kind of a bone analysis thing. Uh, and it goes right here. 
It looks cool. I don't think it's very solid though, but it looks cool. It looks cool. And an egg. Uh, how do you get your thumbnails to work for these streams? I can never get them right. I don't know precisely what you're asking. Uh, I upload them while I set up the stream. Now, are you streaming from your... Oh, you can't stream from your phone anymore, but uh, are you streaming from a computer or, or how are you doing it? Because you have to set it up um, in the live if, if live dashboard thing um yeah it's, it's a bit hard to explain actually uh but it should be doable i think you can i, I think you can figure it out uh quick bakery what's the best comment you ever got uh like is there a comment you'll probably never forget oh that's a good question and a bit hard to answer, actually. Mm. I don't know. I get a lot of wonderful comments. People are always very, very kind. That, that's what keeps on surprising me about um, the the uh, the Lego community of of how how, how nice everybody is. Um, I really like that. It's so cool. Um, and and um, people just give wonderful comments all the time. Um, no, I don't think there's anyone in particular I really like. I just, I'm just always amazed about how how wonderful people are here on here on the YouTubes. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint, but I, I really have a hard time picking a favorite from that. So Kawish Creations says, says Kawish Creations says, if I am on my computer, I don't know how to get the thumbnail. Haha, uh, thanks. I'll have to look at that. Yeah, in the live dashboard, there should be a, 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 a button that says upload thumbnail or customize thumbnail, something like that, which should allow you to uh, put up a thumbnail. Um, I don't think the live dashboard is necessarily the most intuitive, uh, the most intuitive uh, piece of um, software ever made for anything, really. Uh, but... Um, yeah, I think you can you can figure it out. Maybe maybe you can find a guide here on YouTube if if um, uh, <laughs> uh, Gallagate says that first is always a winner. Comment, Jacob. Uh, yeah, well, first comments are great. It means that somebody is watching like a hawk what you are doing, which is nice. It's nice to know that people are so interested that they'll just run into your your video just right away and just first that's pretty nice i like that um i i do like that i like the fact that people are so eager to come and watch your stuff uh, in that way so that's pretty cool do, 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 do. Uh, Gallagher, I used to get a lot of firsts and seconds. Now only first, says the Lego Room. <laughs> oh. Yes, Gallagher, I'll be on Brick Pastor's time slot and he will be on mine, hopefully. Brick Life Crisis will co-host my slot again this year. So are ah, you still on uh, talking about the, um, the uh, 2072 hour live stream that's uh, a community live stream. Who who is oops? Who is the uh, who is the person with the initiative uh, about that uh, bot shop? Is there a, a certain person or or is it a group of people who have arranged the first ones? How is that all connected? Hmm. Hmm. To these and that is all she wrote I think yeah for this stream maybe hmm, should I do now it's getting late no I think on the other hand okay crunch time people should I build bag three now or should I split this build into three? Vote now. Say yes for building bag three. Say no for 
Splitting this into three parts. So vote now. Build three, build three, build three. Yes, do it. Getting two votes. Yes. Yes. That, that doesn't count as two, Mark. Doesn't count as two. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. I'm getting a lot of yeses. All right. We'll do, we'll do back three, but then that will be the end of tonight's live stream. That's for sure. Because I have to get to bed. There we go. And yay, book four. <laughs> Thank you, Julian Big City. <laughs> we are not pretend live streaming here, Jacob. Oh well. Yes, now things just just got serious. Well, we will be building another minifig, that's for sure. The little girl minifig that is in this set. Uh, da, 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 da. There she is, little girl. I feel like I used to feel when my parent let me stay up late. Huh? Oh, like that. I feel like I used to feel when my parents made me let me stay up late. <laughs> so a certain amount of celebration is in order, I imagine. You know, your parents has just let you stay up late. And Wolf Production says, I know, right? The first year it was community 24 hours, then it was 48 hours, then 72 hours last year. Now we are staying up with 72 hours this year again, as that was hard enough to accomplish last year. Okay, sounds interesting. But who is the main people behind this stream? But Chub, I'm just curious to know. The Big Nut 30. Hello, my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this live stream. We've just we've just started building back three of this Indoraptor rampage at Lockwood Estate. And uh, we had a vote, and people voted for me to keep on building. So uh, I'll build this bag and then that will be the end of today's live stream. I do promise you that because I do have to get to bed. I have to get up and do stuff in the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. So. Boom, ba -da -boom, boom. Do, 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 do. Yeah, good evening, Bricknut30 and Coconut Brick Studios. Hello, hello, hello. You really enjoyed that movie. Mm, yeah, it was, uh, it was a very nice summer blockbuster thing, that's for sure. Looking forward to the next one. I believe there will be another. Looking forward to see what they come up with. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Doop and doop. Oops, and a little balcony. We are building a small balcony, which is pretty nice. Always like these pieces here. These, um, oh, you can't see that at all, can you? Like this. Uh, these pieces here look like small binoculars or whatever it is, periscopes or uh, telescopes or something like that. Um, very nice small pieces. I used a lot of those in the mock that I uh, published on Thursday, last uh, yesterday. Um, <clears throat> if you haven't checked that out already, you can do so. It is on my channel. It should be the video just before this one. <laughs> and speaking of, uh, I do also have a Twitter account and... A Instagram account and you can check out both of them if you want to I do post regularly on both Instagram and Twitter there is a certain overlap of the, of the content that I do publish there but um, you can follow me any way you want on those outlets as well so you'll get a little more of the brick and bakery experience if you go there uh, what a lot of cool brick names, says Gallagate. Uh, yeah, that's true. A lot of uh, cool brick guys showing up right now. I really enjoyed 
the Coconut Brick Studios. That's that's a good name. Like that. Very vacationy, I think, to me at least. Very vacationy uh, coconuts. And two of some other ones. And two. No, maybe I should, so you can actually see what I'm doing. What I'm picking my way through. Yeah, I've yet to master the, the key to perfect uh, camera placement for uh, live streams. I'm not sure this is the perfect one yet. It is much better than what I started with, that's for sure. But um, I'm not sure this is perfect. Hmm. Wonder if there is such a thing as a perfect live stream setup. I believe that Megalomania cracked some of the, that code in his uh, recent live stream uh, with that whole... He had a whole game going where you can bet things and such. That was pretty interesting. A great way to do that. Brick Bakery, it's a community-wide collab project event. Origins being with the Haley Bricks and other AFOLs who wanted to unite all factions of LEGO YouTubers. Oh, okay. So uh, there are some uh, initiators um, behind it. That's cool. That's cool. I'll, I'll have to check it out. The, what, what amazes me about this is um, uh, is, how, is that no matter how much you duck through the uh, LEGO YouTuber channels you can always find new ones and and occasionally i even find very very big ones that i've never ever heard about before um you know with thousands and thousands of subscribers and i'm and i'm, and I'm always wondering why or why haven't this channel turned up earlier but it just goes to show that the internet is a big thing and youtube actually uh, has about a billion yes a billion uh, 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 accounts on it and if just if a tenth of those are actual channels it's a hundred million channels so that's just crazy crazy uh, I followed the Instagram already for a while I need to follow the Twitter account too says Wolf Productions well you can do just what you want it's no pressure uh, at all but I am very happy to hear that you are following my Instagram it is, um, I really enjoyed that part of this thing as well. I enjoyed taking pictures. Some of them are uh, not as good as others, but uh, generally I think I do pretty well uh, over there. And uh, yeah, if nothing else, I do enjoy it. So <laughs> yeah, uh, doop, there we go. There we go. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
but who knows I'll see once I uh, get it done what I think and if I like it I will be adding the stickers afterwards remember to hydrate people hydration is important especially if you are talking a lot which I am which I am which I am right here on the YouTube's boom one of those and just one all right just one then just one of these just one of these and another one of these set has all the core pieces for a modular mock sure you can come up with something good brick bakery thank you mark i uh, thank you for your trust in my abilities brick bakery my last comment was for you but i think you missed it oh i'm sorry uh, i think i'll uh oh, i can i can rewind the chat just a bit. big past and i are working in tandem with Haley bricks this year to organize the event and make it more international and easy to attend hmm uh cool very cool i'm sorry i missed it it's just sometimes i can't keep up with the chat because i'm focusing on the build sorry about that but uh, cool to hear that you and uh, brick pasta are doing some work together with hail bricks to get this uh together they are working on a, a 72 hour community live stream which is uh, pretty cool and ambitious too but um yeah so one two three four and five which ah there we go all right so this is good yeah i'll be looking forward to that let me know if you've got a more exact date uh because or some dates it's several days so um yeah Boop. and this one here and this one here and this one and there we go this one here and this one here uh rip brick bakery watch your favorite comic book film and jacob i always say sing while i build as well says but chap <laughs> yeah uh no don't be sorry it's fine it's fine um uh, what's your favorite comic book film uh good question hmm i don't know i think it's, uh, uh, it's a bit you know stuff changes and uh, i'm not sure that uh, a what's my favorite will be my favorite for all time so with that out of the way with that said um maybe sin city the first sin city was actually pretty impressive i like how they try to translate um they try to translate uh, the 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 uh, uh, comic book media more or less directly. I really like that. Um, but it was so highly stylized that maybe the story disappeared a bit. Um, so maybe that's yeah. I think yeah. I think just without thinking any more about it, I think those. If you count the Chris Nolan Batman movies as uh, as comic book movies, then those are my favorite i think i met a couple of couple i met a couple at the convention center big bakery they are going to be the first couple to get married at the lego house oh my that sounds uh, that sounds cool um that's they, they must be pretty much into lego i imagine <laughs> uh, well that's cool I'm looking forward to hearing more about that. I'm sure that will be a media thing at some point. I can't imagine that it won't. Um, that's pretty. That's pretty big, actually. Um, I imagining. I imagine the people at Lego are loving that. Yeah, it shows you shows you how far they've come in the whole uh, fan thing, where people are fans of their products. You know normally normally we would or normally i think previously we would have been fans of say a band or you know a an author an actor something like that but uh, now we can actually be fans of products because we have to remember that no matter how much we do like this 
uh, these Lego bricks. It's still just a product. Uh, it's 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 nothing more than a product. It's 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 just a toy. Somebody produced this. They want to sell it, and they're selling it to us all. I enjoy it. I like it. I have nothing against that all, at all. But I just find it interesting that we can actually be fans of. Sorry, it's all that water. Sorry. That we can actually be fans of products. I am myself a fan of this product, but it's interesting that we can be fans of something like a product. And hello, Rock Transformations. Welcome, 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 my friend. Hope you're doing great on this Friday evening. I am doing great. I'm building Lego. Couldn't be much greater than that right now, that's for sure. Um, Wolf Productions. Christopher Knowledge Dark Knight trilogy is just perfect. Nolan created a new perspective to comic book films. Before the Dark Knight trilogy was released, comic book films had their own film genre. Yeah, it's true. He sort of he sort of transcended the genre idea with those movies where he sort of gave comic book characters their own sort of legitimacy in in, in, in other genres with those movies. So that is uh, that's very 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 well observed there. Wolf Productions. That's that's true. That is true. Uh, Batman Begins is the greatest for me, says Lego Room. I think um, I th yeah, it's oh, it's a toss up, really. Um, I think that's very much based on the day where I watch them. Some days I'll say that the Batman Begins is the best. Other days I'll say that the uh, Dark Knight Returns is the best and some days I'll say that the last one the Dark Knight Rise? No, what's the last one? With Bane? Oh, I don't remember now but um, some days I'll say that that's the best one. It, it very, it's very different uh, from day to day for me at least um, yeah so maybe, I don't know, ooh, a bed, I like this. So this this can actually, hmm, don't know. So is that because somebody can hide on the bed? Hmm, very nice, I like that detail. And these go here, or here. Ah, what I like about this is this puts um, room size and how to use these elements into a new perspective for me, because I would have a tendency not to uh, use these door pieces without any doors in it and I would never put it in a way so the full door opening wasn't uh, available to pass through but, but sets like this underlines that that isn't really necessary that you can do whatever you want that's interesting I think I might yeah that, that might come to good use for me uh, something like that Interesting. Interesting. Lego Snazzy and Brick Broadcasting. Welcome, 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 my friends. Hope you're doing great. And Lego Snazzy says, Howdy, this is awesome. The set looks so cool. Yes, it is a pretty neat set. I really like the front here. This looks very nice. But the interior is very impressive too. I like this lab down here. That's very cool. Um, and... And we are nearing the end of tonight's live stream. And even though I have already said it tonight, I will say it again. You can check out my uh, Twitter account and my YouTube. Uh, sorry, my uh, you can check out my YouTube account as well, of course. But you can check out my Twitter account and you can check out my Instagram account for uh, more of my Lego stuff can't get enough of what I do there's more to be had there uh, you can just search for Brick Bakery it should show up and I usually publish videos on Mondays and Thursdays I did say at some point that I wanted to change it to Mondays and Wednesdays but that very quickly changed I found that I could much better keep the old schedule so we are back at Mondays and when uh, th th Thursdays, Thursdays, 
um, because that is what I'm used to by now and I think it works pretty well for me at least. Um, yeah, so you can check that out and if you really want to help out the channel be sure to like this live stream as well. It's a great help to my channel and um, it helps with uh, everything I do. The more likes, the merrier. Um, yeah, and uh, if there are people here who haven't subscribed to any of the other people that are here as well, please go subscribe to each other. It's good to help each other out uh, because that is what this YouTube thing is all about. We need to help each other out by becoming each other's subscribers and such. Ooh, I like this. I like these black sausage pieces. Very, very nice small pieces and a green plate disc thing like this is great i like this this is a very nice little lamp i like this that's cool somebody really got out the big thinking hat for that that's very nice and good room for it here good ideas in this i i think i'll be copying some of this into my own uh mock buildings um, yeah, moving, chugging along, building, building, building. Uh, and um, yeah, oh, it's actually a bit hard to see, but there should be one, two, three, four. I think this should be here. Yeah, I think that's more. And it should also reach all the way out like this. All right, there we go. There we go. Uh, there we go. So on Monday, uh, there will be a build video. You can check that out if you want. And on Thursday, there will be another video. I've forgotten by now. Hmm, that's embarrassing. I don't remember what it will be. Well, you'll see once you get there. Uh, but there will be another video on Thursday, that is for sure. And I will uh, very likely be back on next Friday doing another live stream where we will be continuing this build and uh, making the most of Friday evening by having a good time. I'm just fitting in the last pieces here. I think I have to build the windows now yeah sure the windows that needs to go into here gj bricks says bought this very set the other day <laughs> yeah well it is a cool set i see why i got this one at half price so i thought it was a great deal um not sure if i'm going to keep it together as a set or if i have i'll break it down use it for mods instead however it does look pretty cool i think so maybe i can do something to fit it into my city or at least keep it together so i can um, i can get it in a city once if i ever get a little more room my problem with my city is that i don't have too much room um too much room uh, so i can't just you know it's not all the sets that I have that can actually go into my city. So I have to be kind of selective of what I put in there at this time. But if I ever get more room sometime in the future, I will, it will be possible to fit in more stuff, of course, which would be pretty nice too. There we go. And these are definitely the last pieces of this evening's live stream. Yeah. Thank you everybody for coming out. It was great to see you all. I hope you are going to have a wonderful weekend and that you are having a wonderful Friday as well. I know some of you have just gotten up from bed and others are going to bed just this hour. I know I am going to bed, but this is all we reached, we made today. The facade of the Lockwood Estate, some great details in here, I think. That's what really has inspired me, these small builds right here. Especially this laboratory looks very, very, very cool. So, 
that is about all for today, my friends. I hope you'll comment and I hope you'll like and I hope you'll subscribe. But I'll see you guys next Friday. Remember, there's a video on Monday as well. So, ciao, people. Have a wonderful weekend.